so on the raceway now we have the super stocks for the 1985 british championship sponsored by the rally jacket company backup racewear once again some nice trophies on offer and once again a big field of cars on the grid for this 30 lap race featuring a clutch start so the starting marshal ray wood on the rostrum just waiting for the all clear to get this race underway and it looks as though he's got the all clear now so we wait a clutch start then for the super stocks british and there it is off they go and uh, one blue gray driver a little bit slow off the mark on brs bend was car number 351 but he gets away eventually and that will cost him dearly you can't afford to allow star graded drivers to be right on top of you Chip. then at stake, currently held by 54 Martin Brand from Lincolnshire. He's out there defending his title, but out goes Les Clark's number 39. Well, a star-studded field includes Paul Pearson, Neil B, Ian Campbell, Robin Randall, Paul Warwick, Martin Brand himself, and Howard Cole. The Scotsmen are there too. And one of the favourites for this is 206, and he's heading straight for the fence. And there's Robin Randall, rocking Robin, who many would have fancied to win this because he's been in very, very good form this year. But now his task is very, very difficult indeed. He's very much a back marker now. In fact, he is a lap down on the leader completely. So the European champion, Robin Randall, has a lot of work to do if he's going to add this British title to his list of honours. champion Neil B is making progress through the field which is still led by a white grey driver number 37 but we see the charge of the star men out of BRS Bend with defending champion Martin Brand still trying hard to pick his way through and he's doing it methodically and a little bit of a problem there for Mike Lemon 234 getting tied up with another car and that's right on the exit of the corner. A little bit of a vulnerable place there. There could be problems for other cars if they get too close to that. But it sorts itself out and the raceway reasonably clear. Julian Lynn, number 492, receiving attention from the St. John ambulance on the dog track. The car having shed a wheel and obviously a bit of a knock for Julian. Gary Birch is out, a winner of an earlier race here this afternoon, number 182. Well, the race leader is 65 Robin Moore from the blue grade. But the star men coming through are Paul Warwick in 2 2 1. 482 Neil B and the defending champion Martin Brown. Martin Brand, they're all coming through quite rapidly. And 37, a previous leader, has now been pushed aside and goes out. <laughs> 221, Paul Warwick is now in second position. 482, Neil B is running third. 54, Martin Brand is fourth. And the man they're chasing is Robin Moore, number 65, who is in lead position. There's Robin. And the charge of the Star Brigade, very much on now. And it looks as though the top men will take major places in this British Championship race. And who's to say that Martin Brand won't hang on to his title? He's currently in fourth position. But it's Paul Warwick at the moment doing the pushing on the far side, putting the pressure on 65 Robin Moore, who is pushed the side just off his line, and Warwick takes the inside position. As they run into the corner, Paul Warwick has his nose in front, under close attention now from Neil B from Downham Market. Martin Brand still not quite close enough to challenge. So Paul Warwick, a teenager, following in the racing footsteps of his brother, Derek. 
the darling of the fans down south. But can he hold on to this one now? A long black strip on the circuit of rubber and a little bit of a mix up on the turnstile bend, partially blocking the course. As leading cars come through, they'll see the danger hopefully in time and take an inside course past there. And it's still Paul Warwick as they go onto the far side from the much more experienced former world champion Neil B. As they come up now to take the three lap board. Three laps to go for Warwick and B. Superstars race it out in this British Championship for the Superstocks formula. All running on 2000cc Ford Pinto engines, evenly matched, little to choose between them, but certainly Paul Warwick seems to have the edge. He's got two laps to run and could be the new British champion. Neil B now is losing ground to him. The raceway looking a little bit on the slippery side, but Paul Warwick coping very well. And there's just one more lap to run, and it could well be that the black and white checkered roof will be sported on this youngster's car for the next 12 months. He's on his way into the final corner. So Paul Warwick will hold off a challenge from Neil B. Neil can't get close enough. They run up to the flag and Paul Warwick is the winner. He punches the air as he goes over the line. A very happy young man, Paul Warwick, the new British champion in Superstocks racing. Champion, the 1985 British champion, still very much a teenager, 221, Paul Warwick. the winner's uh, cup which he keeps and also the uh, shield which he keeps for 12 months that's a perpetual shield and he'll bring that back uh, next year and defend it wherever that may be defended right then well done to paul then there's a day still a teenager and still a long way to go in motorsport